the question regarding if ICSI or IBF syndicated must be taken a decision together, couple and doctor in the consultation. How do you make this decision based on the factors of the patient? So if we have a patient with a high ovarian reserve and a good sperm quality, and we know that the only issues are the wire factor, those patients might be benefited with an IBF treatment, classically speaking. But if we're speaking with patients with low ovarian reserve, low sperm quality, those patients benefit from an ICSI. Patients with a previous IPF treatment with a fake condition failure might be also a benefit and ICSI on them. Patients with sperm quality defects like DNA fragmentation, issues in the motility, structural forms on them will also have a benefit on ICSI. What I want to say now is that ICSI or IPF is not a financial decision, it is a medical decision that should be taken into account and should be made from doctor, patient, andrologist, and biologist.